Yo, what's up guys? So we're here checking out the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Pirate Archetype. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. So, first off, we're going to be using Beyond the Duel today because the image matches up with the text much better over uh, Org, which is usually what we use here. Anyways, let's hop right into the new Pirate Archetype. So, the first card that we're going to be taking a look at is called Whitebeard the Plunder Patrol Helm. So this is a level 4 Fiend Tuner Effect Water with 1500 attack and 1000 defense points. And it says, during your opponent's turn as a quick effect, you get to special one Plunder Patrol monster from your extra deck with the same attribute as a monster your opponent controls or is in their graveyard. And if you do equip this card, you control to it. If this card is sent from the hand or monster zone to the graveyard, you can activate this effect to special one Plunder Patrol monster from your deck except for itself. And then also you can't special monsters for the rest of the turn except for Plunder Patrol monsters. It says you can only use each effect of Whitebeard, the Plunder Patrol Helm, once per turn. So that could be a really good effect, just being able to special someone straight up from the extra deck. Um, and since it's with the, what is it, uh, attribute, maybe DNA Surgery Transplant might be a thing in this deck. I don't know. Let's go and check out the rest of the cards here. Uh, next up we got Redbeard, the Plunder Patrol Matey. And it says, during your opponent's turn, as a quick effect, you can special one Plunder Patrol monster from your extra deck with the same attribute as a monster your opponent controls or is in their graveyard. And if you do equip this card, you control to it. If this card is sent from the hand or monsters into the graveyard, you can target one Plunder Patrol monster you control except for itself and equip this card to it. You can only use each effect of it once per turn. Okay. Uh, and this one is a Water Fiend uh with level four thousand tech thousand defense so the stats on these guys might not be the strongest but it doesn't really matter we're basically using it for the other effect to special them straight up from the extra deck um so next up we have the plunder patrol ship of brawn and it says uh it is a level eight fiend synchro effect fire 2500 attack and a thousand defense points and it requires a one tuner plus one plus a non-tuner monster and it says all other fiend monsters you control gain 500 attack you get to discard one Plunder Patrol card, then target one Spell and Trap card your opponent controls, and banish it. Then you could add one Plunder Patrol monster from your deck to your hand. This is a quick effect. If this card is equipped with a Plunder Patrol card, you can only use this effect of Plunder Patrol Ship Brand once per turn. Okay, so the stats on it are mediocre, but it boosts up everything by a little bit. Um, and then being able to, I guess, uh, pop a card is uh, quite nice. Being able to, especially banish it, but if it was banished with one card, it would be so much better. Uh, anyways, since they can special them straight up from the extra deck, uh, it can be good just to pop that back row if there's something you would need to get rid of. Next up though, we have Plunder Patrol Ship Moark, and uh, it is going to be a Fiend Exceeds uh, level 4 or rank 4, uh, and it says you can discard one Plunder Patrol card, then target one effect monster your opponent controls, then banish it. Then you can add one Plunder Patrol Spell and Trap from your deck to your hand. And this is a quick effect if this card is equipped with a Plunder Patrol card. You can only use this effect of Plunder Patrol Ship Mowark once per turn. If a Plunder Patrol card or cards you control will be destroyed by a card effect, you can attach one material from this card instead. Alright, um, what else do they have over here? They have a Link Monster already too, and this is Blackbeard the Plunder Patrol Captain. Water Fiend Link Effect with its Link being 2, and the attack being 1600. Uh, and it requires two monsters, including a Plunder Patrol monster. As a quick effect, you target one effect monster you control, supposed to one Plunder Patrol monster from your extra deck with the same attribute as a monster your opponent controls or is in their graveyard. And if you do, equip that target to it, then draw one card. You can only use this effect of Blackbeard, the Plunder Patrol Captain, once per turn. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like being able to, you know, uh, special summon a, a monster. Uh, and then get to equip it to it. Uh, I like it. Uh, next up, though, uh, because the other cards we're all talking about adding uh, Spell Trap, uh, this is maybe one of the targets that will be good. So this is Plunder Patrol, Sh Patrol Shipyard. It actually has three R's. <laughs> Anyways, um, it says Plunder Patrol Monsters you control gain 500 attack for each Plunder Patrol card in your Spell or Trap Zone. Um, you can only use each effect of the following effects of Plunder Patrol Shipyard once per turn. So the first effect is you get to discard one card to add one Plunder Patrol card from your deck to your hand, except for a Plunder Patrol Shipyard. If this card is in your graveyard, you get to target one Plunder Patrol card in your spawn trap zone. Set this card if you do return that target to the hand. Okay, so basically that's, I, don't know, I really don't see any like downside to that other effect. Um, 
Unless this, of course, is a track card, then you have to reset it so you can activate it the following turn, but that might not be a bad thing depending on what the cards do. Um, anyways, next up, this is the Plunder Patrol Booty over here. Uh, and it is a continuous track card that says you can declare one attribute and target one face of monster opponent controls. It becomes that attribute until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. Then you can take one Plunder Patrol monster from your graveyard and either shuffle it into the deck or special summon it. You can only use this effect of plunder patrol booty once per turn and then once per turn during the end phase if you control no plunder patrol monster send this card to the graveyard okay that's an insane card i was already talking about I, like i said i forgot for dna transplant or surgery to change the attribute of your opponent's card but if this card is certain it's, it's part of the archetype and on top of that it gets gets to bring back a card this card just pretty much outclasses it but who knows wow okay and uh, i guess um this is just a source uh it'll, it, Team Sam, okay. You know, shout out to my boy Team Sam, uh, to APS, and uh, all of them, because I think they did some like type of live event, which is kind of cool over there. But nonetheless, guys, let me know what you, your thoughts are on this new archetype. You guys think it's any good after seeing some of the monsters? We're probably going to get more support later down the line, but because they are quick effects, that's definitely what Yu-Gi-Oh needs to be able to be uh, competitive. And the Exceed monster definitely is good, but you have to have the Plunder... Uh, Pundit Patrol card equipped to it uh, in order to get that uh, effect, obviously. But overall, it's not looking like it's like very like super S tier broken. But I think that it, it can be an okay archetype, at least as of right now. Um, it just needs a little bit more support to make it a more viable archetype because there's just simply not enough cards, I think, to make the deck uh, an S tier deck at the moment. But anyways, you guys can let me know your thoughts down below. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you did, drop a like on it. If you already new here, hit subscribe, turn that bell. And by the way, guys, I, I know we we haven't had in a few days today i should be getting my power supply so i'll be back to my regular setup sorry for the 900p over the 1080 i'm recording this on my laptop with a scuffed uh, setup by the way but it, will, it will go back to a uh, better quality very soon at tm but thanks for tuning in, guys have a good one and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace